one tree I find very close to my house is this green ash. We see it has a compound leaf. And here it is, right here. We see it's got that one leaf in the middle. Some little compounds there. Beautiful tree. Okay, these are my two favorite neighborhood cats, Jack and Hobbs by the ash tree that they love, well, Jack loves to climb. The famous flower in Texas are blue bonnets. And blue bonnets' roots are very long. Do you think you would know why blue bonnets would have such long roots here in Texas? Yeah, it's not always gonna be so moist in the soil, so they're long roots, just like the honey mesquite, go around and try to find water wherever they can find it. Here we also have another common Texas tree. This is our cedar elm. It can be very tall, but this little guy is still a youngster. You see, we can tell that it's an elm because the, the main vein in an elm is always going to be slightly off-center. Um, it's not totally equal both ways. One side's a little bigger than the other. And the, uh, the edges of the leaf, the margins, remember the margins? Those are serrated. You know, it looks like little teeth trying to get you. So that's one way we can know it's an elm. Elms grow really fast in Texas, so they can make for some good shade. I hope this little guy has a long, happy life as a cedar elm. From all these red berries everywhere that this is, you go upon holly. This has some little teeny beeny little uh, white flowers that bees are really interested in right now. I don't know if you can see there's lots of bees interested and oh, a little fly too. What's that guy? Is that a bee? I don't know, some other bug? Very interested in these Yopon holly flowers. Um, we definitely don't want to eat the berries, but one fun fact about Yopon holly, it's evergreen, so um, when it's evergreen, that means right that it is uh, keeps its leaves all year, even in the winter. Most trees might lose their leaves, it keeps them. And its leaves are the only natural source of caffeine in North America because in North America we don't really grow coffee um, but if you were to take the leaves of Yopon holly and uh, brew them in a certain way so put them in with water uh, the leaves uh, actually make a kind of tea that's caffeinated and caffeine is what makes people like Miss Amanda get through the day maybe your parents are like this too some people don't like caffeine, but uh, it's in sodas and coffee and the leaves of Yopon holly. It wouldn't be good to just eat a leaf. I, I don't recommend that, but um, yeah, it definitely makes some good tea. Again, don't eat the berries, but we do need to appreciate our beautiful flowers and our beautiful Yopon holly um, for its caffeine and its delightful colors. I really love almost looks like a tree from Dr. Seuss. This is a loquat tree and uh, right now these are these are fruit but they're not ready. They're loquats. They have a big seed in the middle so you don't want to put the whole thing in your mouth. When they turn uh, yellow, uh, kind of yellow orange, that means they're ready and you can pick them off and clean them and have a little loquat snack. Um, they, yeah, they, there's a lot all over Austin. They do pretty well. I have a big one, a big tree in my backyard. This is a small to medium sized loquat tree, but you can see it's gonna make some great fruit. Look at all of that. So very exciting to see a tree with edible fruit out. Just make sure you wash your fruit before you eat it. And let me know if uh, you have loquats around that you're going to taste. We could do a loquat challenge. <laughs> only if your parents say okay. Okay, I'll be honest. I'm only about 80% sure on what this tree is. But I believe that it is a red mulberry tree. I think that because of the shape of the leaves and the apex having this really fine point right here. Also, if we see these little fellas, um, these 
you can see them on the ground as well, are kind of the beginning. Uh, it's not quite mulberry season yet, but it's getting there. Um, so these little guys are the beginnings of the red mulberries. If you have a mulberry tree or there's one close to you, be sure to look out in a few weeks to a month for uh, these green guys to turn um, uh, kind of a red, kind of like a blackberry color. And then wash that fruit and it is pretty tasty. A mulberry is a really decent fruit. Um, if you don't like it, it's also a good dye, so you can paint your face with it, paint your mom's face with it, with her consent, of course. And, um, yeah, it can be used for face paint and body paint, uh, maybe even art paint. Anyway, so keep your, keep your eyes peeled for a red mulberry tree by you. And let me know if... I'm not correct about this one. This one I am willing to admit defeat uh, and learn from my 